everyone, Jane's Mansfield here, and you're watching Drag History, the show we salute the girls who laid the foundation by applying one. Now, drag in the United States has transcended from beyond the bar scene. We now have drag on television worldwide thanks to TV shows like RuPaul's Drag Race and Dragula. You see drag queens on America's Got Talent, The Voice, and RuPaul herself even has a star on the Walk of Fame. But beyond the United States, guys and gals have been putting on wigs and gowns for decades and have been bringing the fabulous to stage for years. And we're going to take this moment to discuss more fabulous queens from around the globe. First, the Lebanese comedian Basim Thagali. <laughs> Known in her home country for her impersonations of public figures like Lady Gaga and Marilyn Monroe. her high-pitched singing voice that further adds to her illusion. Bessim had a daily show on the Lebanese Broadcasting Corporation and even did a segment where she imitated a different artist each day for the full month. And to top it off, she was even awarded at the Mure de War Awards, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, where she was recognized as the best monologuist in the year 2000. And she has no intentions of stopping there. Our next queen is the legendary Iha de Pera. I may be dressed like a cat, but I can't roll my R's. This Chilean artist has transcended that beyond the stage. She made her stamp in the Chilean market from working as an actress in films, such as films like Impaña de Pino, an original piece of Chilean horror bizarre cinema. She was a fashion model and designer. She also fought for years as an advocate for women's rights and sexual minorities. And I love my Sadly, she passed away in the year 2014, leaving behind a much beloved legacy in drag history. Our next queen is Ireland's own Panty Bliss, or Panty for short. For years, Panty Bliss has been considered Ireland's fourth most drag queen. She's been the toast of Ireland's drag scene, hosting Pride every year, and even hosts for years the now extinct pageant Alternative Miss Ireland. Panty Bliss, thanks so much for joining us. It's a real pleasure to have you on the show. Pleasure to be here. You recently said that Panty Bliss has made you a better person. <laughs> In what way? Um, well, I think um, anybody really who doesn't necessarily fit into the sort of standard box, I think that's actually a good thing as you go through your life. It uh, makes you appreciate other viewpoints or other angles. And I think it makes you a sort of a nicer person. Um, so I think if I didn't have this part of me, you know, I, I, I mightn't be so, so nice, I might be a dick. She's both spoken out publicly and been an advocate for HIV AIDS. And on the Saturday Night Show, Panty even took journalists to task over homophobia and a scandal that led to the campy name Pantygate. I'm 45 and I'm fed up putting up. Now I would, of course, prefer if nobody harbored any animosity towards gay people or any discomfort with gay relationships. But you know, I can live with the kind of small, personal, private homophobia that some people might have. For example, you know, I can live with Mary in Wicklow, who sometimes turns on the television and sees Graham Norton and thinks, oh, he seems nice enough, but does he have to be so gay? I've linked some clips in from Panty's interview on the show, but they've been removed from the archives entirely. Needless to say, she set off a sound wave that garnered the support of the likes of Graham Norton, Madonna, and RuPaul. She even gave a speech on the matter that garnered over 200,000 views in two days. She now owns the bar Panty's Place and is still a national treasure to behold. We salute you, Panty, and you have carved out your place in drag history. Our final queen is Mexico's answer to RuPaul, Francis. <laughs> Adelante muchachos, adelante. Este cabrón trae cola, mira, no nada más. Hasta rayada trae la cola, mira, al cabrón, no, 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 anda. Francis got her start as just a dancer in local shows, and it wasn't until she landed an acting role in the film Bellas de Noches 
that Frances's career truly blossomed. With her newfound success, Frances was approached with putting on her own show. She put on a grandiose stage show that ran for over 17 years at the Blanquita, and she even performed in the States in Los Angeles at Los Pinos. Frances even became a beloved television personality in Mexico. Mamá, ¿qué estás haciendo? Mamá, tengo algo que contestarte. Quiero ser artista. ¡Jamás! Te prefiero prostituta. Ay, no es lo mismo. ¡Cállate! Known for her campy impersonations of popular singers like Shakira, most notably she was the first openly gay celebrity of the country. And sadly, Frances has passed on, but her legacy lives on forever in drag history. Well, that's our show, kittens. I hope you learned something. This shows that drag comes from all walks of life. No matter how big or how small, and no matter what you do, wear a giant wig or paint yourself purple, just be a good one.